What's going on, everybody? You're tuned in to another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. A little bit of summary and background on what we do on this podcast. We do a brand new episode every single day. Basically, it's documenting my journey as an independent musician. And I also want to just share tips, tricks, wins, losses, things I do right, things I do wrong along the way. And the entire point is we do it every single day. The goal is to do a new episode every day for 366 days in a row. We are on episode 179, I believe. So that's been 179 days. It's been amazing. I've had the pleasure to have great guests like Gabe from Legion Beats, Adam Ivy, Omido Beats, and many others. So I'm super pumped to um, share with you guys uh, what happened to me this past weekend. So I did the Legion Studio Takeover, which I just did the past three audio podcast episodes. By the way, it's a brand new audio podcast every day. I don't do a brand new video podcast every day. Kind of a little much for me, but the new audio we do every day. So if you're interested in listening to a brand new episode every single day, click below in the description and you can get a link to the uh, to the audio version, okay? So all that I ask too is that if you enjoy this video, subscribe, like the video, leave the bell notification going, and obviously if you're listening to the audio version, subscribe to the podcast, leave a rating, leave a review. So I just want to get on this one and summarize how the entire weekend went when I was at the Legion Beats studio out in the Bay Area, which I'm in the Bay Area too. So it's up in the, uh, I guess you would call it, I don't know if you'd call it North Bay. It's in like Marin County, but it doesn't matter. You don't know where that is. So it doesn't matter. But uh, so we did three days. We did Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Friday, you know, I'm going to go kind of run through this quick. Friday, um, got there at 10 a.m., checked in. They put, they put me up in a hotel which is crazy. I can't believe they put me up in a hotel. Shout out to the whole team, man. Shout out Kyle David, Cropsy Beats. Shout out to Kevin Moses, KFM Stay Killing. Shout out to Yanni. Uh, everybody was super cool. But 10 a.m., got to the hotel, checked in, dropped the stuff. And shout out to my boy, A. Gabe. Um, he came with me for Friday night and left on Saturday. But, yeah, so we get to the hotel, check in, vibe out a little bit. Uh, I think then we went to the um, – I think then we went to the studio. Yeah, we went to the studio. Um, we worked on a song that Kyle and I, Kyle had already made the beat for, so I wrote the rest of the song in the studio and recorded. Did that for about all day, and then we kicked it. Um, I got to meet Gabe from Legion Beats that day. I met him in person. It was the first time me and him had met in person, which was freaking crazy because me and him have talked on Zoom a hell of times. I've had Gabe on the podcast, but to actually – Talked to him in person was dope. He came to the studio. And then later, we were all done recording. I was outside chilling, talking to a couple of the guys, hanging out. And then Gabe came out. And I was like, oh, snap. I was like, bro, I have so many questions to ask you. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's cool. Like, I got a few minutes. Ended up talking to him for like 30 minutes out there. And then he left. Uh, And then that night, we went to Thai food. We got Thai food with the whole team. It was super dope. Really good Thai restaurant. And then me and Gabe, my bro, not my not Gabe Legion Beats, but my boy A Gabe. See, it's kind of cool. By the way, crazy, my bro, Gabe A Gabe, and Gabe from Legion, both named Gabe, both have the exact same birthday. To me, that's the craziest thing. Crazy. Same birthday, bro. Nuts. I thought that was crazy. And when I introduced them, I was like, I have to tell you something. And I told him. And he was like, oh, snap, that's crazy. So um, anyway, that's destiny right there, right? So um, so yeah, we went got Thai food. Then my bro Gabe and I went back to the hotel. We chilled. Um, and and the thing that, the thing was like, so the song that we had done on Friday, like I'll be honest, like I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. I didn't think it was the best I could have possibly done. I don't think it was my best work. And the plan was on Saturday to shoot a music video. But I, I just I was just like, dude, I don't like the song. Like it's not a it's not that good. I didn't want to do it. And so I had to tell them the next day. I, I and that was a tough decision for me, real talk. It was so hard for me to be like, damn, what do I do? I was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because I thought, man, I don't want to put this song out. It's not my best work. But the whole squad was being super cool and it was a good session. And I was like, damn, what do I do? And I was like, I got to suck it up, right? Because I didn't even want to, I didn't want to make a music video to the song. So it was a tough decision. Do I write or do, do I write it out for the weekend? Go just shoot the music video or 
do I make a new song? And I was like, I had to make the decision and I went to bed and I basically decided I'm going to make a new song. And so the next day I told the guys at Legion and they were like, yeah, it's all good. We'll make a new song. No problem. I said, no pressure for the music video. Like, I just want to make sure I get the best song. They're like, yeah, it's all good. So made a brand new song. Um, way different, much different song. The first song we made was very much like a rap song. The second song we made, I'm, I want to do more. It's more of like a pop song. It's like rap mixed with dancing, mixed with house music, like which is cool with me because I'm trying to make music that's a little bit more popular right now. I have tons of songs that I make that are my vibe, that are like my sound as in like, I actually like the new song. Like I like both of them. It's a song that I could vibe out to and listen to because I like it. You know, it's not exactly hip hop. It's more pop, more dance. And that's kind of what I want to do. But I want to try to make all different types of music. So point is, Saturday we spent the whole day and I worked with um, another producer there named Kevin Moses, KFM. Uh, go look him up on Instagram, KFM Stay Killing. He's on my IG right now. Go check him out. Legion Beast producer. He's super sick. Uh, told him Leezy sent you when you go follow. And also go follow Cropsy Beats as well. Both amazing producers. So worked with Kevin the whole day. Um, made that song, recorded. It was We were literally in the studio for, I mean, we were there from 10 a.m. I didn't leave until 9.30 p.m. We had a one-hour lunch break in the middle, so I was there for basically 10 and a half, 11 hours in the studio, and it was freaking lit, bro. And I was like, dude, this is my dream right here, being in the studio all day long. And it was the same thing the day before, just in the studio, working. It was crazy man it was crazy to get to work in a dope stu and their studio is amazing is amazing if you haven't you know try to go find uh pictures you can go on my instagram or you could go um you could go on my instagram there's actually a highlight that says legion studio takeover where it's just like documenting that entire thing but but not just that but if you just go look on their instagram like you'll see like crazy crazy studio incredible 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 right so so that was saturday and then Sunday came. Sunday, which was yesterday for me, I got to talk to Gabe. Legion, Gabe, in person. And the idea was you know, to spend $1,000 of ad spend on my music video. We didn't have the video yet, and I was like, you know, I'm not tripping about, we don't have to spend the money today. He's like, yeah, yeah, just let me know when you're ready. But we didn't just talk about marketing that song. Like we didn't just talk about marketing that song. We talked about marketing that song for maybe 30 minutes, but we talked for like four hours. So what do we talk about for the other three and a half? We talked about everything in my business, everything. We talked about marketing as a musician. We talked about selling beats online, what I should be doing next, my next step. And we talked about my coaching business and we talked about his business. I picked his brain about both of his businesses. He has two, think about it, he has two different million dollar businesses that are both music. One Legion Beats, one MIDI Money. Legion Beats, selling beats online to rappers. MIDI Money, teaching producers how to sell beats online to rappers. And I got to pick his brain and I learned about so many different ways. He's so systematic. Like that's something I really love about Gabe. He's systematic. Everything's organized, everything is systemized. Communicating with his team, scheduling his time, making beats, sending beats, like funnel building, like everything has got its system in place. He's super organized. And I was like, whoa, bro. I'm organized more now than I was before, but not like him. And plus, he has 10 employees. I have me and my manager, Robin, and we're working together. And that's it, right? It's just me and one other person. And I work together on music with other people, but they're not team members to where I need to be constantly communicating with them. He's got 10 people that he's got to communicate with damn near at least on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis. And he showed me a bunch of different ways to just optimize communication and optimize like how to schedule yourself better and how to communicate better and how to think about your own time better. And it was amazing. And I was like, damn, bro, like it just put me on game on how to run a million dollar business on how to run two different million dollar businesses. He put me on game to that um, and how to get to that point. Right. And he was he was I kind of was expecting him to give me like secrets that were so mind blowing that nobody else had heard. And like, although there was gems, it wasn't like that. You know, it was, it was more about, it was him coaching me specifically. 
This was even better. It wasn't just a general thing. He knows my back. He knew my background. You know, he knew how much I had done with my producer funnel. He's kept track of me. He knows what's up. And so the idea though is like the thing that I would love to relay to you guys. The theme of the weekend for me. The theme of the weekend was have you I mean you've definitely heard the saying it's not who what you know, it's who you know, right? But I'm going to say this. Who you know will get you through the door, but what you know will get the job done. Who you know will get you in the door, but what you know will get the job done. So when everyone's like, no, what you know is who you know, it's like, yeah, but you need to know some stuff. You can't be an idiot, right? And I'll, and I'll give you an example. I am going to sound like I'm tooting my own horn, but I want to relay this message to you. I wrote two songs this weekend. They're in the studio. On Saturday, I wrote an entire song from scratch, no lyrics. I didn't, had never heard the beat. I heard the beat and wrote the entire thing there in the studio and then recorded the whole thing there. That's a what you know thing. That's not a who you know thing. That's a what you know thing. Right? That's 10 years of consistently writing lyrics. That's 10 years of consistently recording my voice. That's not a who you know thing. Now, who I know got me through the door. I won the contest. By the way, me winning the contest was only, it was a referral based contest. It wasn't like they drew a name out of a hat and randomly picked me. I earned it. I got a bunch of different referrals. I got 80 people to sign up for Gabe's email list through my link that got me points that won it for me. That's who you know. I know a lot of people. So who you know got me through the door, but what you know gets the job done. Now, if I knew nothing about funnels, Facebook ads, if I never tried anything with the funnel stuff, like if I had no experience with funnels, that conversation with Gabe wouldn't have been as valuable. Now, if I knew more, it would have been more valuable. If I had made more money and had more profit and done more, that convo with him would have been even better, but it was great for where I'm at, right? The point of it is also like I only started doing my coaching business a month ago. If I had uh, two months ago, had I not started that coaching business though, right? That's a what you know thing. Had I not started that coaching business, the conversation with Gabe wouldn't have been as good because I wouldn't have had something else to bring him like, yo, yo, I have this other thing going where I coach artists. Can you give me tips on that? He's like, yep, totally. So he helped me with that. He helped me do that better, right? And so who you know will get you through the door and what you know will get the job done. I'm going to say it like this. The way you really need to build your career is a what you know sandwich or it's a who you know sandwich. You need to, you need to do, it has to be what you know, then who you know, then what you know again. The what, the first round of what you know needs to be building up your skill set. Okay. That's going to get you to the who you know. Because these people that you need to know aren't going to pay attention to you if they don't think you know anything. So it's not always a who you know based on who you know. It's not like, lead, it's not like, oh, okay, I'll work with this guy or girl because he knows, he or she knows this other person. Sometimes it's like that, but a lot of the time, when it's cold, how do you get that, how do you break through, how do you get that first person to work with you? Because they see you doing something. Legion Beats, got on my podcast. By the way, that podcast was not a contest. That was me reaching out to Gabe. He got on my podcast because I do a new podcast every single day. The what you know or the what you do. The what you do and the what what you do. Here it is. What you do will get you who you know. Who you know will get you through the door. And then what you know. So it's what you do, who you know, what you do, who you know, then what you know. Do, who, know. Do, who, know. Do, who, know. Hmm, I might make a new YouTube video out of that. But that was the point. All of that is what I learned from this weekend. Because I asked them. I asked the producers on Legion Team. I was like, you know, I'm wondering you guys, like, what if you got an artist who won this contest who was not able to write a song in a day? They were like, oh, I don't know. We didn't really think of it. I'm like, you know, because I wrote the entire song in one day. Not a lot of artists can do that. What if you got an artist who couldn't write the song today? They're like, I don't know. We would have figured it out. You know what I mean? But they, they, they hadn't thought of it. But you guys got to think about like, 
you want to get into the studio with people you want to get in these big studios you don't need to get in these big studios and like i only got in there because i won a contest i probably realistically wouldn't go out of my way to pay for extra studio time you know what i mean but the point of what i'm saying it with them i would now because i have the relationship with them like i probably would now but the point of what i'm saying is you don't need to get in a big studio but if you want to get more songs out there if you want to link up with important people like you need to be doing something like i get on the phone and talk to people about coaching them i turn people away if they don't seem like they know a lot like if they're way down at the bottom of the bottom and they're not ready to do it i won't take their money i won't take your money if you're if i can't get your results that's the point now if you think you're somebody who's serious and you think you're somebody who really can take it to that next level book a call with me book a 15 minute call with me right i just sat down with a guy who's built two different million dollar music businesses i just sat with him for four hours been in his program over a year. I myself have done music for over 10 years and spent thousands of dollars. I might know a thing or two that you might need to know. Let me help you, okay? If you're at a place where you're stuck right now and you don't know how to market your music or you don't know really what to do in your music career, book that 15 minute call with me. Let's get to know each other and let's see if that we're if we're a good fit. We might be able to help each other out. Got it? Let's make it happen, all right? Now, if you got any value out of this episode and you're on YouTube, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, like it, hit the bell notification. If you're listening on the podcast, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the pod and share it with a friend, all right? Thank you so much for watching on YouTube and for listening to it on the podcast. I appreciate you so much. And like always, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace.